You probably heard me talking a lot about the Legion 9i from Lenovo lately. But what's the deal with this liquid cooler? We've read all your comments from asking what it does, how to turn it on, to saying it's just a gimmick that doesn't add any performance. But I want to give you my take on it after speaking to Lenovo themselves and why this liquid cooler is more important than you might think. All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is the Lenovo Legion 9i Gen 9 gaming laptop. Lenovo's top of the line gaming notebook refreshed for 2024 with a 14th gen i9 processor and an updated version of their AI chip that helps tune the laptop to improve your gaming experience. And most importantly, this is the first laptop to feature a built-in liquid cooling pump. But the thing is, the pump seems to never come on, like ever. And I'm not the only one who noticed either. A quick search will show you plenty of people saying the same thing. Why doesn't the liquid pump ever come on? Well, the answer is pretty simple actually. And before we dive into this, no, this video is not sponsored by Lenovo. However, they did provide me this engineering sample to use for the duration of my review period. That being said, I did speak to Lenovo directly because if I were you, I'd want to know about this pump too, and quite frankly, I spent the last couple days figuring out how and why it comes on. So the simple answer from Lenovo is that the cooler is under very strict constraints to extend the life of the pump. This is why Lenovo has designed the pump to only engage under harsh thermal scenarios. Out of the box, the pump will only engage when all of the following requirements are met. The CPU has to be at 88 degrees Celsius, the VRAM at 88 degrees Celsius, and the GPU at 84 degrees Celsius, respectively. I initially thought it was only tied to GPU temp and even went as far as putting a microfiber cloth over my exhaust to try and heat the GPU past 84 degrees Celsius and still couldn't get the pump to engage. To be honest, the standard thermal solution on the 9i is already good enough to keep the GPU and CPU well below those numbers even while under load and even light overclocking via the performance mode. So what's the point of the pump then? The real purpose for the pump from what I can gather is for either extreme thermal scenarios, extended gaming sessions, or for advanced overclocking. While it's unlikely that the 9i will overheat in normal scenarios, I'm sure there are instances where you're in a hot environment and trying to run a game and the system gets well over 80 degrees Celsius. While uncommon, it's nice to know that if that were to happen, the liquid pump would kick on to help maintain performance. Keyword, maintain. The good news is that you'll never have to worry about thermal throttling with the 9i. So the correct way to view the liquid cooler is more of a safety net that helps prevent the 9i from ever thermal throttling, not an AIO cooler that inherently improves performance. I'm sure most of you, including myself, viewed the 9i's cooler as more of an AIO like we're used to seeing on a desktop one with a pump and a radiator that runs 24 seven. And when you approach the nine eyes pump this way, yeah, it can be a little disappointing. However, when you realize what it's really there for, you start to better understand what Lenovo was going for. So back to my other point, overclocking. Usually at the top end of the spectrum for gaming laptops, you start to get into desktop replacement territory. I'm talking laptops with full-size desktop GPUs, mechanical keyboards built in, ginormous chassis, you name it. These kinds of laptops are almost in a class of their own. And oftentimes these laptops are capable of actual overclocking, much like you'd see on a desktop because these larger, beefier laptops usually also have more thermal performance headroom, whether from larger heat sinks, more fans, liquid metal, vapor chambers, or in this case, liquid cooling. Heck, in some cases, it's a combination of those things. If I remember correctly, Lenovo is using liquid metal in this machine as well, which likely helps keep those temps under control along with what I can only imagine is a very solid cooling solution aside from the liquid pump. And while I never booted the 9i to BIOS, I did scour the Vantage app to see if and where I could manually adjust performance and sure enough, it exists right in your custom performance settings. Now, keep in mind, I'm sure these controls are relatively simple compared to the BIOS, like for instance, you aren't able to adjust CPU clock speeds or voltage in here, but nonetheless, Lenovo does let you mess with a host of advanced power settings. And I'll be honest in that, I wasn't familiar enough with these settings to really mess with things too much, but I did like that you could set your custom mode based off the other performance modes as a starting point. To me, it wasn't worth killing my unit just to prove a point, but what I will say is that I did figure out how to trigger the liquid pump on command. 
All you have to do to get the pump to come on is set your fan curve to full speed. As soon as you do, you'll hear the pump. It's kind of cool actually, and voila, liquid pump activated. You'll know because the little light on the back will finally light up. I guess now is a better time than ever to also mention that aggressively messing with these otherwise harmless looking sliders could actually result in damaging your laptop, so be mindful and make sure you're actually know what you're doing before you end up with a dead laptop. Naturally, the next thing I did was try to see if I could make a custom fan curve where the pumping would engage sooner, and unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work. So I guess that then begs the question, does the pump actually do anything? And the simple answer to that is, not really. I say this because in a more real world scenario where you're playing games, the pump isn't going to net you more FPS, at least not enough that you'll notice. However, when doing a benchmark like Speedway, you will notice a temperature improvement and a score improvement. When running the Speedway stress test, I noticed not only a near 10 degrees Celsius temperature difference in the GPU with the pump on, I also noticed that my score improved. Not by much, but in the benchmark world, every digit counts, which furthers my point that the liquid cooler is more designed to help prevent throttling over long extended loads rather than improve your performance outright. This also would, in theory, give you more headroom for overclocking since the GPU seems to begin throttling around 85 to 86 degrees Celsius. Further proving my point, the top score for Speedway with similar specs to my laptop was set by another Lenovo device using the same motherboard as the 9i, which leads me to believe that the 9i definitely does have room for overclocking if you're willing. So as far as gaming performance, the 9i won't disappoint you, plain and simple. But as for the liquid cooler, I think the complicated answer of whether it helps or not boils down to how much you tweak the power settings and how hot your system gets. For normal heavy gaming use, you likely will never know it's there, and that may or may not bother you given the price. It is nice knowing that in a rare situation where your system does get super hot, the pump will help keep temps down to avoid throttling. But that's likely not something most people will ever encounter because the 9i's cooling system is just that good to begin with. On the flip side, I'd love to hear if anyone has messed with the power settings and found that they can, they can squeeze a bit more performance out of the 9i where the pump does enable more performance. But I think the main takeaway here is that the liquid cooler in the 9i is designed to help sustain top end performance for extended periods, not inherently improve your performance outright. And regardless, the 9i is still one of the top performing laptops in its class especially given its size. At the end of the day though, my thoughts on the cooler are that while it may not be what I thought it was originally, it is still a very cool and impressive piece of hardware that hopefully will function more like a desktop AIO in the future and will improve iteration over iteration to become a standard for these kinds of laptops. Nonetheless, I plan to talk more about the 9i and why I think it's unique in my full review coming soon. But that's gonna be it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And as always, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this. You can follow me on X, TikTok, and Instagram at XXIV underscore concept. That's 24 concept, learn your Roman numerals. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.